So I ended up going for Luna's Howl considering I was already at Fabled thanks to the Recluse, the Provoker, and Mountaintop. So I thought why not go for it since I'm at the second to last quest step already. And yeah I went for it and I got it and it's, it's good. This review will obviously be for the weapon post nerf. I never once used it in its glory, but I don't really mind it. If anything, my review will be a little bit more honest since some people just wrote it off as nerf to the ground. So let's see how you get this gun first. The first step is to complete 10 comp matches. Second is to get 150 hand cannon kills in comp. Third is to get 200 solar kills in comp. Fourth is to get is to complete four or three rumble matches. Fifth is to get 100 precision hand cannon kills in comp. And the last quest is to reach Fable in comp. Honestly, all these are more annoying than they are hard. But after you do all that and get this gun, will be will this be the gun that will replace every other hand cannon? No. But for some reason, at least to me, I love this gun more than any energy slot hand cannon that I can think of. I would love it even more if this gun had the animation of a 150 round hand cannon. So that's that's where kind of my head's at. Honestly, this gun's really good. It can still three tap easily. The only difference is that the perk, uh, Luna's Howl, got nerfed. So now rapidly landing two precision shots increases the next shot's damage and range for a short duration. What it used to be is it's just Luna's Howl was on after the two headshots forever. Not forever, but from what I remember, it was two headshots and then the, it just kept accumulating. If you, keep, if you kept getting headshots, it just always stayed up. So you always got that increased range and damage. Now it's only two, two headshots and then the next one does the big damage and then the next two headshots then so on and so forth. So from what I've heard, this killed the gun not only in PvP but in PvE especially, which I do see this killing, I do see the nerf killing it in PvE because that, dam that weapon damage would have been really nice. So I do, I do see in PvE specifically, it could have been just destroyed outright. I still use it from time to time because I do enjoy this gun. But I even enjoy this gun more in PvP. In PvP, it's still a monster. It can still three tap. Three tap is still good. I don't I don't understand why people think it's bad. The fact that I can three tap someone or the fact that like I can hit two headshots, kill that guy because maybe I'm shooting someone that's already low health. Go in with a third shot that already does more damage. Go get hit some other guy. I I do I do realize that that's like very like niche like oh how many times are you gonna do that I understand that but it's more along the lines of like I can do nasty shit with it still I do agree it should not have gotten that big of a nerf but at the end of the day I still enjoy this gun this one's gonna be a really small review because at the end of the day yeah it did get pretty nerfed hard and I love this gun, but it just kind of makes me think like, man, like if I had gotten it before it got nerfed, when it was at its prime, how, do, how would it be? So it's not a more, it's not like a super honest review. It's more kind of like, a, I really wish I was there when this gun was powerful. Hopefully Bungo like changes the, whatever the perk does, because changing it to 150 should have been it that should have been the nerf it would have been fine but changing the magnificent howl that's when it, it got really fucked up so that's my review for this gun i think it's well worth it i don't think not forgotten is for the amount of shit you have to do you have to get like 500 luna house kill luna's house kill 500 of them and then hit legendary legend in the the, the glory playlist that seems a little excessive for a gun that's nerfed to the ground from what people have said I think for me, I'm not going to go for it just because why would I? I am in almost at Mythic 1, but at, the, at that point, like, Shadow Keep's about to come. Why am I going to kill myself for over, over a gun I might not use? So that's my review. I'm probably not going to ever do uh, Not Forgotten because unfortunately it, 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 it's become forgotten. But like I said, 
that's my review let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this gun am i wrong is this so good is it bad let me know in the comments below don't forget to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below and i'll see you guys later